What's up guys, it's Niall, and today we're gonna be building this RV right here. I got a request for this on my what should I build video, and I'll just quickly tour the inside to show y'all what's on the inside. So we have two chairs, uh, two couches, a kitchen, a bathroom and shower, or a toilet and shower combo. There's the fridge. And then you got a full master bedroom with the skylight. It's a nice little design and it gives you actually a lot of room on the inside. All right, so let's start the building process. All right, so for the first step, go ahead and grab the smooth quartz slabs and place them half a block off the ground like this. And go across five. So the width of our RV is gonna be five blocks. And then go ahead and double this up. We're starting at the front of the RV, by the way. Right after this, grab a block of coal and place one on each side. Then you can fill in between the blocks of coal and then go ahead and do two more rows of half slabs. Here we're gonna get a smooth stone block and put two of them on each side. And then we're also gonna fill those in with quartz slabs. Now we're gonna grab our slabs again and come out five more rows. Now we'll place two blocks of coal once again. Fill that in. Place two more rows of slabs. And then two more blocks of coal. Fill those in. Now for the very back, we're gonna go ahead and place two more rows. These are the last two. And we're gonna delete this block right here, uh, one away from the edge. And then we're gonna just put a filler block and grab our hopper and place the hopper against the filler block and then you can destroy the filler block. This is gonna be our exhaust. So to start up the back, we're gonna grab our scion terracotta or whatever block you wanna use. This is gonna be the majority of the RV color. And we're gonna place two blocks on our right side and two blocks on the left side and then connect them in the back. From here, we're gonna come over to the side and we're gonna place an upside down smooth quartz stair on both sides of this little U shape we just made. Now we're gonna grab our terracotta, come out four blocks from the side all the way to this tire. And then once again, put an upside down quartz stair. And you can also delete the block that is behind the quartz stair in the back. So now we're gonna transition to the left side because it, this is where it stops being symmetrical. So next we wanna place a block here next to this stair and then repeat the process of an upside down stair right next to that. So it should look something like this. Once again, grab our terracotta, come over four blocks, and then one more upside down stair. Now place four blocks of terracotta and then come to the other side and go ahead and just place three blocks. Now we want to come to the front of the RV and place a furnace sideways facing inward and the same thing on the other side. Then we'll grab a blast furnace and face it forwards. In front of that, we want to crouch and place three iron bars. Now grab a blackstone button and place it on every single tire. Finish off the front, we're going to place an item frame on both sides of the iron bars and then put a sea lantern in both of them. As you can see, it's kind of starting to take shape now and you can see how there's so much space on the inside. Continuing the sidewall, we're gonna place seven blocks all the way to this bump out we made when skipping this first block right here, because that will be our door. For our next layer, we're gonna start with some black stained glass and place it in a little U shape around the front. And then we're gonna do this two blocks tall. We're gonna start on the left side. So we're gonna go over the door with terracotta and then we're gonna change up the material and grab some gray concrete and follow along until you hit the back of the bus. But don't place it on the very back of the bus. I just realized I called this a bus, it's an RV. Let's be clear here. <laughs> on the opposite side, we're gonna pillar up two blocks next to the windshield. And then once again, we're gonna place our gray concrete following the outline all the way until the back. This looks like a really odd truck right now. Okay, now for the third layer. Grab the Scion Terracotta once again, and we're gonna start on the right side if you're facing the front, and we're gonna place two blocks, then we're gonna place two blocks of black stained glass, and then two more blocks of Scion Terracotta. We're gonna continue with our Terracotta for the next two blocks, and then place four black stained glass windows followed by a Scion Terracotta. Quickly flip over to the opposite side of the back, and do the exact same thing. To the right of that, place two blocks of Scion Terracotta, a block of black stained glass, a block of Scion Terracotta, and then two more blocks of black stained glass. Coming around to the back, we're gonna place two Terracotta blocks on both sides and connect them in the middle 
with stone brick stairs upside down. And for this next block, you can use pretty much anything you want that looks like an engine, but I chose to use the monster spawner. So if you're gonna, if you're in creative, just place three monster spawners across those stairs right there. Now on each of these bump outs right here, this is one, this is another, and then there's one more over here where it bumps out from the side. Layer the top of these with smooth quartz slabs. It should look like this. Now we're gonna take a quick break from the structure and start doing a little bit of the inside. We're gonna start with the driver's seat. Grab your smooth stone slab and go to the left furnace and come back one block and place a slab right there. Do the exact same on the other side. We're now gonna grab a dark oak sign and place it on the side of the slab like so. And then we'll do the same thing except on both of these sides. So it should look like a chair facing the other chair. Then we'll grab a sploot, then we'll grab our sploot, <laughs> then we'll grab our spruce door and place it against this slab right here. Follow this up with a black banner placed on the door and then just place a black banner on the wall for the second chair. In the middle of these two chairs on the back of the blast furnace, place an upside down andesite stair or polished andesite stair. Put a lever on top of that stair. Now come to the left and on the back of the furnace, we wanna put an item frame and a music disc of any color on the inside. We are now gonna start putting in our different types of floors. To start off, we're gonna go one block to the right of the door and come over and place stairs Place two polished andesite stairs like this and then curve the last one. We're now going to fill in this whole area with polished andesite for two rows. Well, technically two rows from the stair, not over here. Now grab a lodestone and place it all the way till you get to this bump out right here. After those two, it should look like this from above. Finally, we're going to grab spruce wood planks and fill in the rest of the back. We're now going to start working on the bedroom. To start the bedroom, we want to destroy our lodestone block on this side and this side, so there's just three in the middle. Replace that with spruce wood planks. And then on top of those two blocks, place upside down dark oak wood stairs two blocks tall. On the inside of both of those, we're going to put two blocks tall of scion terracotta. This is the wall that divides the whole RV from the bedroom. Now grab any bed of your choice and place three of them against the stairs on the back. Next to both of these, put an upside down dark oak wood stair with a flower pot with whatever sapling you want inside. On each of the monster spawners, we wanna place a spruce trap door and close them. To finish the bed off, we're just gonna place three dark oak wood slabs on the bottom of the bed. Now grab a door and fill in the gap in the middle. We're now gonna start on the living room, kitchen, and bathroom. We're gonna start off with the couches. First, we want to find this little corner right behind the driver's seat and place a stair facing this direction, then place one next to that and then in the opposite direction of the first one. So it should look like this. And if you want to increase the detail of your build, you can destroy those two blocks, destroy the block below them, and then place a banner diagonal in each direction and then place those stairs back and it will look like little pillows. On the opposite side of this couch, we want to place a stair facing the other couch and then we want to turn it and cap it off like we did on the other couch. Now grab some dark oak stripped logs and place one here and two on the other side. Then place snow on top of all these logs. On the inside of these two logs we just placed, we want to place two blocks of silent terracotta two blocks high. Then we want to fill in this little corner right here so there should be a two block little jut out. This is gonna be our bathroom. Now grab a cauldron, destroy this lodestone block, and put the cauldron in its place. That's gonna be the toilet. Oh, and minor mistake, go ahead and replace this block right here with gray concrete to kind of complete this little color. To finish the toilet, we're just gonna put a trap door on top like the toilet seat, and then a door in front of that. Now it's really beginning to look like an RV. Now to the right of this single wood block we placed, put down a furnace, and on top of that, a detector rail. This is our stove top. Next to this, place a cauldron, and then pillar up two pillar quartz blocks. So this is the sink, and this is the fridge. I just realized I made one more mistake. To the left of this door, replace these two blocks with bookshelves. For the fridge, I'm just gonna place a 
black banner that I designed with a gray outline and a blue fade with a black background. And then I finished it off with a black little section down here. In the black section, I placed a tripwire hook and that's my fridge. To finish the sink, we just wanna place a lever facing into the sink. This now pretty much completes the interior of the RV. We are now going to begin putting the roof on. To start this process off, we're gonna cover up the monster spawners in the back with Scion Terracotta. Then from each side of the Scion Terracotta, we're gonna bring a pillar all the way out to the front and stop it one block before the windshield. Do this on both sides. As you can tell, a lot has changed since the last clip and I'll explain what happened at the end of the video, but for now I'm just gonna keep rolling with the tutorial. All right, so our next step is gonna be covering the windshield area. To do this, grab some smooth quartz stairs, place them on this uh, terracotta block there and on this side as well. Once you've placed those stairs, connect the two with half slabs and then fill in all of the windshield area. Now add one more layer to all the slabs in the middle so it looks like this. Now we're gonna finish off the interior and then put the roof on. To do this, we wanna build up the fridge one more block, and then we wanna grab our Scion Terracotta and cover up this doorway right here. Once you've covered up the doorway, cover up the bookshelf and the terracotta block to the right of this door. Now grab some smooth quartz stairs and start at the fridge and place them upside down for three blocks. However, on the last one, curve it. And we're basically gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. However, we are gonna turn around the corner right here. So it should look something like this when you're finished. Now on this open block we just left here, place a tripwire hook and this is gonna be our shower head. Now the last thing we have to do for the interior is place half slabs right on the front of these stairs right here, but only one row. The rest of this will stay open. Now we're just gonna go ahead and outline this whole area with half slabs. So pretty much covering everything that's gray on the outside. Now that you've done that, you can fill in this little area right here that's open with half slabs. Now grab a blast furnace and place six of them in a row right here, and this is gonna be our air conditioning. Now this whole solid section right here, just go ahead and cover that like we did before. Now we're gonna begin making the skylight. So fill in each corner with a half slab, so it should look like this weird little shape, I don't know. <laughs> and now place stairs facing in to the middle on every side. So every side should be bumped up like this. Now just fill it in the middle with black stained glass. Now we only have a few things left. For the design on the back, I'm gonna show y'all on this one due to things I have to explain about the trees getting in the way and whatnot. But basically place an upside down stair like so with two half slabs on both sides on the back, right above these spawners. Now head inside of the RV and place a lantern in the middle of this like super tall section right here. And we're gonna place one more right here in the bedroom above the door. Now place three dark oak wooden stairs above the bed right here. And then line both sides of the skylight with the half slabs. So it kind of surrounds the skylight. And then right above the couch, just place a painting. I chose the white one, if I can find it. Hold on. This one, because it matches the color scheme of the whole build. Now all we have left is the awning. For the awning, you're just gonna need some iron bars and smooth quartz slabs. Place one on the outside of this window here and place another on the outside of that window. Connect the tops and come out four blocks in total and then just fill that into a square. And just like that, we're done. Okay, but now to explain what happened here. So pretty much yesterday is when I actually recorded the bulk of this video and I started editing the video and I figured out that one of the clips did not record and it was the final clip where I put the roof on and did all this stuff. So the reason these trees and this little fire pit are here is for the thumbnail, which I went ahead and took a picture of. And then of course I was missing a clip. So I had to come back and destroy the roof, redo that. And then now we're here, but I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Definitely check out the channel, maybe even subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.